Okay, here we go. Membrane reads and make your own funky. So let's start off by looking at a very, very simple membrane read instrument. We're going to take the um, neck of a balloon and we're going to stretch it over the polypipe tube at 13 millimeter irrigation pipe and taping it on with electrical tape. Okay, let's see what happens if we just blow through. Okay, it's a pretty strange, almost a sort of a, a flappy double reed, but what happens if we put a bit of pipe on the other end and we're going to tape that in and then we're going to pull the balloon over the end of one of the tubes and get that balloon neck vibrating and that will be a very simple membrane read. Okay, let's pull it off, pull the tube at right angles and let's have a blow. So the balloon neck is vibrating across the top of one of the tubes. Okay, let's go bigger. Same thing, using a rubber glove over some PVC pipe. Okay, let's uh, again using balloon, but this time we're stretching it across the top of the tube and blowing into the side of a slightly larger tube on the top. We've got some finger holes, so we can change the length of the tube. Okay, we've got a little membrane reed chanter. Okay, let's improve it now. So let's change from balloon to garbage bag membrane. And that's stretched over a T-junction, irrigation pipe T-junction. Okay, using a longer chanter. And that's an aluminium tube. It's changed from aluminium tube to a larger diameter polypipe tube. Shorter length or higher pitch, but once again, it's using that T-junction. A longer chanter. This is using polypipe again. It's In Australia, it's called PEX pipe. So let's take that membrane read off and have a look at how you actually make one. So, okay, I've taken that T-junction off. We're going to now push it back on the end of the tube and you'll see that built up area that's just a, a short length of vinyl tube built up to the exact diameter with some electrical tape and the internal tube now is coming almost to the end of the T junction and we're going to cut off some garbage bin liner and this is the tricky bit this is where uh, we've got to very very carefully now put our membrane onto the end of that pipe so the T-junction is creating an outer pipe and we've got that poly pipe which is our melody instrument going through that. So we have taped one corner, now the opposite corner. Now we're going to grab the third corner and pull it down. And grabbing that third corner with the tape and now most important that last corner we've got to make sure we've got no wrinkles at all, wrinkle free. So a nice smooth surface on that garbage bag membrane. And now we, what we've got to do is adjust that internal pipe so it just touches that membrane. Okay, at the moment it's backed off so it's not touching it and so we get no sound. Oh, nearly there. Pushing it up a bit more. No, that, pulled, that was pulling it off. Ah, now it's just touching it. Just again... That's backing it off, and now that's sounding like... Let's check it out. And that's it. So um, you've got all the measurements there on the chart behind me. Let's uh, pull that out just to, so you can see that it is just that T-junction, but again, it's got to be fitted exactly nice and tight, so it's airtight at the bottom of the T-junction. And now you've got to carefully push the tube so it just touches that membrane. That's See, it's not quite right yet. There we go. Okay, so you've, you've got those measurements behind me on the wall chart. I'll get out of the way now. And uh, you can make a screenshot. And so you've got your own set of measurements.